Here's another edition of Why Retirees Are Loving Cap Cut. This is part seven. We're talking adjustments. Let's do it. We're still learning cap cut and we're down to the final button along the top of the uh, screen of the home screen. And that button says adjustments. What are adjustments? Adjustments are a way of doing color correction within CapCut. And there are multiple different ways of doing basically the same thing. Now, I want to have a brief discussion here about what we're doing actually when we're in adjustments. And I want to relate that to filters. I have started a, a screen here. And this is going to be um, just, a, just a couple of random clips. But we're going to be dealing with the color in them and correcting them. And there's a couple of different ways to do it. If I highlight this clip right here, I can go up to the top and we have our adjustment button. And when I hit that, there we go, custom adjustment comes up. And if I hit that, I can put it on here and I've got, custom, I've got a custom adjustment and I can extend that to the length of the clip. Now, I can also extend it through to the next clip and the next clip and the next clip. So I can do the entire production, the entire video, and adjust the color in all of them. Now, a lot of times when you're doing your A-roll, when you put your A-roll on, once you have your A-roll on, you want to color correct it then, because then that's done. And then when you start splitting it up and cutting it up, you don't have to collect them all together to make adjustments to them later. Just a little tip. But now we have adjustment on here, and you'll see that when I highlight this screen, up here I have this menu that comes up. Now the first two, we have basic, HSL, curves, and color wheel. We'll get to each of them. In basic, the first two options that you have here are both pro options, so we're going to skip them. We're going to go down to really the crux. LUTs are kind of like filters that you can, uh, additional filters that you could buy elsewhere and put into uh, CapCut and use them. We're not using LUTs today. We're going to go down and we're going to manually be adjusting this clip. What you'll see is you've got these sliders that are going to allow you to adjust all kinds of different elements, characteristics of that clip. And let's start with temperature. Temperature is either accenting the warmer tones or accenting the cooler tones. And you can see how that changes from blue to more orange. You can do that in very slight degrees or you can make it dramatic. Tint is going is is moving between green and purple, and it's accenting those colors. So you can see I've got a little purple tint here, I've got a little green tint here, and it's neutralized there. Saturation is taking the colors that exist already and deepening them or softening them. So when we go on here, the colors aren't really changing, but they're becoming more intense. If I go the other way, they're becoming less intense. And the extreme of this one button, something to keep in the back of your head, take it all the way down, and you're in black and white. You've taken out all the color from the shot. So that's one way to do that. Saturation, that's a biggie. Exposure. Now you can find that you may have underexposed or overexposed your shot. And all is not lost. You can adjust that here. Here, we're just, all, all of the colors, everything is staying the same, but the exposure is changing. I'm going to lower exposure and higher exposure. Okay, As it turns out, it seems like it was exposed pretty well. Now, the next one is contrast. Contrast is the, uh, the drama that is caused between dark and light colors. How intense is that? How... Um, dramatic is it? If we go up, it's getting more contrasty. The darks are darker, the lights are lighter. If we go the other way, 
it's becoming much more of a mono tone um, and it's kind of it's washed out a little bit so the differences between darks and lights are minimized that's what contrast is going to do if the if the highlights the lighter colors in the shot are are blown out you uh, they're too bright you can bring them down this way if they were too dark you could bring them up this way and you're only affecting the highlights of that shot same thing with shadow. We can decrease shadows, increase the shadows. Whites and blacks, same thing. Brilliance brings a, 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 bit, a bit of a, a, sh a sheen to it. It's hard to describe, but that's brilliance. And then as we go down here, these are interesting. Sharpen. If you have a shot, it's not going to save a completely out of focus shot that's terrible. It's not going to fix that. But it can give you a little bit of a sharper look than you would have had otherwise. Clarity. I can see what it's doing, but I'm having a very difficult time verbalizing it. I can see the difference in this, but I like it up a little bit. Particles. What particles are going to do is introduce something that usually you're trying to get rid of. So if we go in here, you can see how this looks grainy. Uh, it's a little, you know, just grainy. And when we take that back out, you'll see that grain has gone away. So maybe you're trying to introduce grain as a feature to, for a particular reason. And you can do that. Fade is just what it sounds like. It makes it a little less bright. Vignette. And this is our final uh, tool here. Really cool tool. A vignette is creating a, 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 a mask around your image. And when you do it here, if you go to the left, it's going to bring this light colored vignette into play. But if we go the other way, it'll bring that darker one into play. Really cool tool. I like this a lot. So you can have some fun with that. All right, next is HSL. HSL is a way to uh, attack a specific color within the frame. So let's take red, for example, in this one. If I wanted the bricks to be more intense, see how I've just brought the red out in those? Brought them much, much redder. And we can bring the saturation up and make them even more intense. And now the red in those bricks is really popping. Kind of did something to my lips, too. But um, anyway... But as you look at your as you look at your image, you can make these decisions. Hey, you know, do I uh, did I get a cast from a, a reflection that I want to get rid of? These will HSL will let you directly play with these eight colors. Curves curves is another way to do some of the same stuff. Luma is light, okay, brightness, exposure. If we go up here toward the top of this line, we're increasing or decreasing the highlights of this, of this line. If we go down here, we're increasing or decreasing the shadows of the shot. We can do the same to the midtones. Okay. This is basically another way to do what we've already been doing. You have red, green, and blue uh, lines, curves, that you can mess with as well. So let's say we wanted to bring mess with the blues. How about in the mid-tones? That's kind of getting my shirt. Yeah. And I don't mind that. But in, uh, about there. And then... Maybe the blues out of the highlights a little bit. And there you go. 
Color wheel. Again, it's another way of doing some of the same stuff. So, this will allow us to mess with the shadows. And what we're doing is we're taking the dot in the center and we're moving it toward the color we want to emphasize. So, if we want to emphasize blues, there we go, there they come. If I want to emphasize greens, here they come. You get the idea. Now, you'll be able to mess with the intensity of the changes that you've made. This is an exposure wheel. It's changing the exposure of the shadows. This next wheel will do middle gray tones, middle tones. Uh, tint is going to be changing the tint of the entire image. Um, offset. <laughs> Now I can go to adjustments another way. If I highlight this clip without going up here, I can go over here where it says video and I'm doing my video adjustments. We're going to get in. This is going to be something that's coming up very, very, very soon is this whole area right here. But um, if you go up here to adjustment, you're going to get all of those color adjustments right there. So here's the thing. When you're in adjustments, essentially what you're doing is you're creating your own filter that you're putting onto a clip or onto the entirety of the uh, video. You can do either one. But that's essentially what people that have made filters have done, is they've used these elements and others to uh, create a filter that you can just drop onto a, um, a piece of video and it will give it a characteristic look. So some of these filters uh, that we have on CapCut and that you'll find elsewhere in LUTs will be emulating the type of look that a particular film had. And you'll see one in CapCut that's, that's called Oppenheimer. And it's trying to recreate the ambiance of that film. So you can do the same things, but what adjustment is going to do is make it your own. You're creating your own environment, your own look that pleases you. So it's a way of really personalizing your work. It's more work intensive and you can go off the rails on this really quick. You can get yourself into an area that just looks bizarre. So you got to be a little bit careful with it, but absolutely worth exploring. If nothing else, it's going to give you a better understanding of the different elements that go into creating a video clip, uh, intensity, hue, color, uh, brilliance, contrast, on and on and on. These are all elements of every photograph and every video that you've ever seen. And this is the way that you can manipulate them to your own personal preferences. That's all we're going to do today. Just a real quick intro to adjustments. The next time we get together and we're talking cap cut, we're going to go off in a, to a different direction. We got those buttons at the top. We know how to add clips and cut them and move them around. You've come a long, long way from day one. And you're now probably a good beginning or even beginning to be an intermediate editor. Great work. Keep it up. Um, if you liked what we did here, if you got some value from it, if you pushed you ahead a little bit further, give us a like, subscribe to the video, uh, to the channel, and uh, hit the notification bell so you'll know when we put something out. We're trying to do it at least once a week. Um, and... We're going to also be uh, introducing some product uh, evaluations, and I'm going to be doing something on a microphone uh, or two coming up really soon. But uh, like and subscribe. Spread the word. We're over 100 subscribers, moving toward two, and I'm just really excited, and I thank you for your support, and uh, keep it coming. So until the next time we get together on 
the older creator. I'll see ya.